my dear friends i am shrinivas in front of you today i am not able to smile always my video starts with a pleasant smile because i feel really i like i love smiling actually which all of you are aware but today i don't have the energy to smile whole heartedly i'll come to that later see the most important thing which i wanted to say today is the onslaught of covid in india has started once again the new mutation called ba 2.75 has started spreading its tentacles trying to gulp away the human life across the globe today i start my video giving my pranams to our greatest leader a visionary i am not speaking anything politically a person who i feel a leader should be he has visualized how the things would be uh, today india our great nation has completed 200 crores of vaccinations today it is not a small thing for a developing country like india where we have got logistically very very difficult areas with different demographies different type of sets of people with so much of knowing and unknowing the knowledge gap still we are able to cover such a large proportion 130 billion that the 200 uh, crores means it is not a small mean i bow my head to the doctors fraternity the nursing staff the front end area the volunteers of the healthcare sector my pranams my heartfelt pranams to one and all who made this possible next i am coming into the subject my dear friends yesterday i have read a, a statement given by somia swaminathan the chief scientist of world health organization a eminent personality and she is a daughter of ms swaminathan agri agriculture scientist everybody must be knowing that she has given a statement a, a weird warning is there in that statement she says a new variant has been found in india called ba 2.75 which may which may create a havoc again in the subcontinent and the globe has a whole i am just reproducing her statement for your kind information ba 2.75 is a second generation evolutionary jump from the previous mutation of ba2 it could be more transmissible are associated with more severe disease but evidence is weak evidence is weak here because it has started just days before increase the capacity to tolerate changes in its spike protein the part it uses to infect the cells most important point here is what she says this point jep ba 2.75 mutation is highly capable to invade the safety net that every person we have created around us in the form of primary dose secondary dose and a booster dose we have created an iron door iron curtain of safety net around us by taking these boosters and vaccinations but this ba 2.75 is capable of penetrating to this iron curtain and invade your healthy healthy cells and make you and weaken your immune system and make an entry into your body that is the most pathetic part of this whole story even though you are previously a covid immune because once i get any person get infected with the covid for some time uh, he will be immune so the body will be covid cells will be there and they will be fine. antibodies they will produce there but ba2.75 is such a mysterious why a mutant mutant that it even invades the people who have got the vaccination primary secondary and the booster see myself i have taken the primary dose secondary dose and my booster dose i have taken in the month of january my wife who was there in usc at that time she has taken the moderna booster moderna vaccine primary dose secondary dose and she took the booster dose and she landed in india last week 
I don't know. Maybe we went out somewhere and, and uh, wherever I go, I protect myself with the full. My hands are always sanitary. In fact, I use gloves, you know. Wherever I go and I cover double mask, I use it. Last Tuesday, today is the Sunday. Last Tuesday night, my wife complained that she is having a chilly, a shivering, and she got fever symptoms. Usually, she never tells anything. Is she has got a lot of uh, uh, ability to bear the onset on her body. So, but when she told, I got very much uh, perturbed. Then I saw uh, the temperature; it was one at three. Immediately, that was night, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. We gave some paracetamol, and the whole of the night she was shivering and crying. Abba, abba, bolke. Next day we had to see a physician, uh, and uh, she told probably it must be a virus. So many viruses are coming. Viral fever just come and go. I don't want to. It is only symptomatic treatment. Then she told, yeah, I don't think it may be a COVID, but. If the situation turns, even the other person also get impacted. By it, then you can suspect as a COVID. Then we didn't want to take any chances. Immediately the same day I got her tested, and next day I got a result. She was COVID positive. Three days really she suffered, suffered, suffered. Each part of her body was paining, and there was a problem with the throat. She was chills. Then after four days, I thought, yes, my immune system was so great, and I escaped the COVID. Only my wife got, but on Friday night, I got. Friday morning started with me with a troubled throat. Throat irritation was there, and uh, night it turned out to be a severe uh, symptomatic COVID with the temperature crossing one zero three. So yeah, because I know the further tells the doctor told it is only you can do symptomatic only because it is a viral uh, antibiotics won't work for a COVID patient. Then I ask her how come I have taken so many, including the booster and she and uh, yeah they told us with this booster and all they can minimize the damage to your body and maybe it may protect you from falling into the jaws of death. So probably that saved me. My wife, even my children, my daughter, who is in USA, 15 days back only, the whole family, my wife, my daughter, grandson, and my beloved son-in-law, all of them got at a time COVID. And my daughter was repeatedly telling daddy, "Don't take it seriously, lightly. It's not a cold or something like that. It just vanishes after a couple of days. But it takes more time for you to come back to normalcy, for your limbs to act normally." I was taking very lightly. The main purpose of this video is to bring the awareness to one and all as to the what is the position of a COVID patient, uh, a person getting infected with COVID after having taken the primary dose, secondary dose, and the booster dose, and what is the pain? You see, the the symptoms will be different from person to person. The severity will be different from person to person, and also it depends upon your immunity. Uh, so my wife's situation started from a fever, whereas for me the situation started from a irritation of a throat. Even then, almost all the joints of my body, right from the whole of my leg, including my groin, my hands, and all, everything is now almost like a paralyzed. A lot of pain. The temperature will go down again. Comes back with a blasting speed. Uh, my it, uh, my uh, taste has gone for a toss. Feeling extremely worn out. So these are all the things, symptoms of a person of BA 2.75. This is highly contagious, my dear friends. Doctors are telling that this is highly contagious. So I kindly request each and everybody, including the people who are aged 60 years and less, the government has started giving you a booster dose. Immediately, immediately, please see that you get your booster dose immediately. Save yourself, save your family, save the society, save the life. Everything is in your hands. Don't take these things lightly. It is not a small thing. It is a monster which nobody can see hiding somewhere around, trying to gulp us out. Already we have seen. Untold misery happened to many families around the globe with lakhs of innocent lives.